Hey guys, it's your boy Angelon Wallace. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about 10 digital nomad jobs that you can work from anywhere in the world. If you guys follow my channel already, you know that I'm a nomad recruiter and pretty much I do have multiple streams of income to help me sustain this lifestyle and continue to travel the world. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you still want to see more content like this. So we're going to start off with number one. We're going to talk about recruitment. My number one stream of income and source of income, I actually teach people how to start a recruitment and staffing agency so if you are thinking about starting an agency you can click the links below and it'll take you more to my website to talk to a little bit more about what recruitment and staffing is but for the sake of this video we're going to talk about recruitment pretty much what you're doing is going out and you're finding a client that needs help finding a employee so you as the recruiter you pretty much are a headhunter if you've heard this term before when you go out on LinkedIn or Facebook or do your network, you find someone that's looking for a job and you introduce them to the company and a company would pay you a percentage from 15 to 20% based off of the candidate's salary. So hypothetically, if a candidate was making hundred thousand dollars and you was charging 20%, you would make $20,000 off of that, uh, off of that, you know, uh, placing that candidate into a job. It's that simple. It's that easy. And starting a recruitment and staff and HD, once again, all you need is a laptop and a cell phone and you can do it from anywhere in the world. Um, Next one is going to be crypto trading. If you guys are not familiar with, you know, day trading, uh, crypto trading, crypto is a great way to 10x your money with high risk comes high rewards. But right now, I strongly believe that the future millionaires are going to be the ones who hold cryptocurrency. So you can find a lot of online courses that would teach you how to do crypto trading to start making money online, which is really good. Right now, the market is really low what we're seeing with bitcoin ethereum solana there's so many gems out there it's a great time it's a great time right now to get into the market to hold to trade um once again i'm not a financial advisor but just giving you ideals for you know starting a digital you know start having a digital nomad lifestyle most importantly online um coming in at third on the list being a social media manager more than ever there are so many organizations out there that need people to run their Instagram, TikTok, you know, Facebook accounts. And you can do this from anywhere in the world. We need somebody to be consistent. And you're seeing a lot of social media managers get paid top dollars and decent money. You can check out a few websites. I'll uh, throw up the links on this video, but um, Upwork.com is a great website. And Fiverr.com is a great website where you can create a profile and start outsourcing your services to a lot of organizations that needs help so learning facebook ads learning how to do you know ppc ads for amazon accounts there's a lot of things that you can teach yourself and, it, and a lot of things are on youtube for free you don't always have to pay for this stuff you just gotta you know learn and you know learn the knowledge and be accessible and put yourself out there at the end of the day and it'll be really easy as one two three you know so going into number four on the list being a virtual assistant, one of the easiest jobs you can do. There are a lot of smaller companies, medium companies, but people are always looking for VAs, virtual assistants, someone to take a lot of their plate and help them, you know, you know, make the, make a lot of money or save time. You're, you can be checking emails. You can be writing up drafts, doing email campaigns. You can be answering phones or following up or potentially assisting with some of the sales. But being a VA is pretty much an easy, simple job where all you need is a laptop. You can work from anywhere in the world. And there's countless hundreds and hundreds of jobs. You can look on um, remotejobs.com. You can check out upwork.com. You can check out fiverr.com. And sometimes, you know, you could just, you know, go to LinkedIn, look up a lot of, you know, link, LinkedIn or D sometimes have virtual jobs on there as well. But you can reach out to smaller companies to say, hey, I would love to offer my assistance to you. I understand you have a lot going on. You potentially may need a virtual assistant. I would love to help wherever I can, you know, to save you time, to save you money at the end of the day and take a lot of pressure off pressure off of you, uh, you know, with your business. And I'm telling you, VAs are in high demand. You also can outsource VAs to other people. You can start a virtual assistant company where you may be able to just hire three VAs to outsource for you so you don't have to do the legwork. So do not overthink the process. It's one of the easiest jobs that you can start. It's one of the most common jobs started 
you know, that most people start when they're trying to get into the digital nomad lifestyle. You know, becoming a VA is pretty easy and simple and you can live anywhere. As you guys know, I live in Brazil right now where, you know, the dollar is really strong. So imagine getting paid in a dollar and living in South America somewhere where your dollar is one to six or one to 10, and you can pretty much do whatever you want or and afford a great lifestyle at the end of the day. You know, going into number five, we're gonna talk about teaching English. So I taught English abroad when I was living in Spain and I was a hustler. You know, I used to teach a lot of private English lessons especially depending on the suburbs that you go to, but you can teach English from anywhere around the world. There are a lot of programs, especially in Spain, um, Barcelona to Madrid, all across Europe, um, especially and definitely in like Thailand, South Korea, Japan and China. You can teach English abroad and you can make some decent money. The great thing about these teach English programs, they often come with free housing, they come with free food, and you're still able to live off of, you know, decent pay. From my knowledge, I know, I think, I believe that Japan pays the most when it comes to teaching English abroad, but it's still like, what you know, depending on where you're at in Europe, there are a lot of cheap countries where, you know, whatever you make, it's still gonna be a lot of money and a lot for you to still have a good life um, at the end of the day. So teaching English is pretty easy. You can get a tougher certificate, but for the most part, you just need to be conversational with a lot of these programs. You don't need to have a degree or you don't have to have that much if you wanna teach English abroad. That's one of the things I did when I graduated from college. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I, you know, went through a program called CIEE and, you know, but there are other programs in Spain that I also recommend you to look into. But once I joined that program, I went straight to Spain, taught English for a year and it changed my life. It was one of the best experiences ever. And, you know, to this day, I still have a lot of friends from that community. All right, so going into number six, we have affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is when you're assisting businesses with helping, you know, and create, uh, with helping create awareness, but also you may be running marketing ads like Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google AdSense uh, for these companies to assist with them, them with growing their business. So there are a lot of small organizations out here, such as dentists, doctor offices, um, you name it, uh, clinics that need assistance with marketing, that need assistance with sales and, and create and creating awareness in their communities, but they don't know how to run social media. So they need someone who specializes in affiliate marketing to help grow their business and to help grow their company at the end of the day. So this is a pretty easy skill that you can learn. You can always buy a course or you can just YouTube it as well at the end of the day. A lot of information, once again, is online for free. I understand, you know, you can always, but I understand it's time consuming sometimes trying to find the free information. But if you look hard enough, you can also find a lot of courses that can teach you the strategy in the game. I don't want to recommend any courses that I haven't took. So that's why I'm just telling you to do your research at the end of the day. Um, so number seven on the list, we have building websites. Building websites are so easy. There are a lot of small business owners or you know, just grandfather companies that have not updated their resume in 10, 20 years. And you can do something as simple as go to Wix, take a template that's already created for you. So for example, maybe there's a famous or an old restaurant in your neighborhood and they don't have a good um, website. You can go up to the owner and say, hey, I'll build you a website for $500. They're old school, so they don't really know how to use, you know, a lot of platforms like Wix and other tools where they already have templates already available for you. And all you have to do is add in the words. So for, you know, signing up to Wix for, you know, and creating a, a, a business page for this restaurant, you can easily make $500 and they didn't even know that, you know, it, it really didn't take you any work because the template was already built out and you're helping that restaurant get, you know, increase their credibility and show their professionalism because they're updating their content and they're, you know, and they're making customers more aware that they're out, you know, that they're out there in the community and, you know, they're still adapting to the new world and day and age. So, there's a lot of, you know, you can build the website, you can start a business where you're building websites and you can just outsource that, you know, to other people. If you're not tech savvy, most of the things that I'm naming, you can outsource this stuff to a lot of people. So you can find uh, software engineers or software developers um, or website designers on platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, 
um, LinkedIn, sometimes Indeed, and you can reach out to them to see if, hey, if you will be open to partner with me or working for me as an independent contractor to assist me with growing my building website agency. And it's that simple, you know, get an LLC, open up a bank account and start reaching out to people or assisting people. You also can create a profile on Wix where there are a lot of people that come to Wix and a lot of a lot of other job platform, uh, a lot of other uh, website building platforms out there. But you can create a profile for people to look you up. And if you price yourself competitively, that's how you can also start getting your first customers. But if I was in your situation and I was starting a website company and building websites for people, I would start off with at least 100 people within my network, and then I would try to reach out to maybe uh, 50 to 100 uh, businesses within my community that I've been going to. For a long time it's that simple just going up to the owner in the store one day it could be your local grocery store your local um you know a drugstore or pharmacy and just saying hey look you know i've been coming here for the last 10 years i just started the business and i'm building websites for a lot of people updating their content i would love to create something for you starting off at 500 to a thousand dollars you know to you know cr increase your brand increase your credibility and to show your customers that you know you're aware and you're constantly updating your content and you know and being up to date with today's market and with today's competition as well also showing these competitors you know, when you go into these businesses and pitch to a lot of them, show them what their competitors are doing and to give them some, you know, incentive to really take action on updating their content. So I wouldn't overthink the process for the most part. Going into number eight, being a software engineer, you don't even need to go to college anymore to become a software engineer. You could take a six week, eight week program and easily pick up a job like that. I know that there are a lot of software engineer positions in South America, it's definitely here in Brazil. And a, and a great thing about being a software engineer, when you traveling across the world, there are so many visa options for you, uh, which is a, which is an upside and the money is really great. You know, you can go, you can take a six week program, you know, as a software engineer and start off anywhere from 80 to $110,000, depending on the position. But I've seen it happen multiple times as a recruiter, people within their first year starting off on six figures as a software engineer, traveling the world, working from their laptop and having a good lifestyle. So it's not that hard to do if you are thinking about doing it at the end of the day. Number nine, starting a YouTube channel. Listen. YouTube is one of the first things, just like when you wake up and you, you want to research something, you Google it. Now, most people either Google it or they YouTube it. And YouTube is still a platform where a lot of people can grow their channel and grow their audience and just talk about something that you love, talk about something that you're good at, or talk about something that you think that you want to honestly promote or sell. All you need to do is get 1,000 subscribers. If you think about it, you probably already have one or 2,000 Facebook friends and one or 2,000 Instagram followers. So it wouldn't be that hard to hurry up and, you know, monetize your channel to start making money and all you have to do is just start being consistent and get money rolling in but starting a youtube channel is extremely easy i would recommend you guys to get a ring light and a microphone and that's all you need but if you don't have that start off with your uh your cell phone and get a small mic and just start shooting videos and make sure the lightning is good but you can make consistent and residual income with your youtube channel every day and every year all of my videos are constantly making me money while i sleep and that's the beauty of having a youtube channel and putting content out there so it's a great way to you know make residual income and most importantly you know have another stream of income if you want to live the digital nomad lifestyle and travel the world as well. Last on the list, we have start an Amazon store. So I do have an Amazon store as well. And I have money coming in consistently while I sleep, you know, while I run my ads. So you once again as well, a lot of people already know most of the Amazon strategies. All you have to do is go to Alibaba, look for products that are, you know, one or two dollars that you can sell them on Amazon. It's a, it sounds simple, but I would recommend you guys do a lot of research. You can find a lot of free information already on YouTube, but you can also purchase a course from anyone that you feel trustworthy or after doing your research as well. 
to assist you and help you out. But having an Amazon store is another stream of income that can really help you grow your business. Listen, that was my number 10 suggestion for a digital nomad, you know, lifestyle and digital nomad jobs. If you're trying to get into this space, if you like this content, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, let your boy know if you want me to talk about any more topics, please support me, help me out. Can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.